What do you think about uh, the inflation story for 2022? Does it continue into 23? <clears throat> yeah, I think the, um, the path from nine to four actually looks like nine to three and a half by June is, is very clear. Um, goods inflation, which is the first order effect of the pandemic related inflation is coming down hard. The comparisons are such that those year on year rates are going to drive the headline number well below the current Fed policy rate. So they will be at sufficiently restrictive. Um, it's, it's, quite clear that, that um, housing-related inflation will come down as well. And then to use Chairman Powell's framework that he laid out at the Brookings Institute a couple of weeks ago, services less rent of shelter or non-housing-related services inflation has missed or been much cooler than expected the last couple of months, and that looks like it's coming off as well. The Fed's particularly concerned about wages driving that higher, but when you look at that, it looks more like an accounting identity that he's describing, meaning, yes, yeah, sure, wages are a big component of service sector inflation, but when you actually run the statistics on it, it wages explain something like 18% of the movement in services prices. So it's a little more complex than Chairman Powell's been describing it. And um, I think it's, it's quite clear that inflation is on its way lower. The question is, how low does it go? I think through the first six months of the year when it's falling, that'll be a good period for risky assets, for equities, even for treasuries, which remain overvalued. However, I expect it to stall around mid-year and the Fed to have a bit of a quandary in the second half of the year. You know, do we continue to press as hard from right. four to get it to two as we did to get it from nine down to three and well, a half?